it was kind of at that point I realised like how deep underground we actually were. Good morning guys, please excuse the hair, I've just chucked it up. Um, I am heading out on a random adventure today, so I was supposed to have a midweek experience with Traverse, but unfortunately it's been cancelled. So I'm going to try and find something else to do instead. I have found something, I think it's going to take about an hour and a half to get to, um, but I'm hoping it works out, so let's see if I make it. Also, can we just appreciate, look how beautiful the view is this morning. Have a look. I think we're never going. I think we're heading towards Porto. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> So I spotted these caves um, online, on like stuff, I think it was TripAdvisor or something, and um, just hopped on a bus from Parma. It took about an hour and 25 minutes, um, and I just made it and I'm so pleased with myself. my jacket off. <laughs> rows of benches. So some boats 
literally came out of here playing classical music for the live orchestra in boats like this here. I've just come out of the caves and oh my god like I've managed to film like a lot of inside the cave but you get right 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 deep inside really quite low down low down I'll, I'll find out the exact uh, depth of undergroundness that you go but there's this big sort of open space with an underground lake and then basically they turn all the lights off I I, I can't believe you won't believe me it's crazy they turn all the lights off it's pitch black and it was kind of at that point i realized like how deep underground we actually were and like i get a tiny bit claustrophobic like i was okay but at that point i was like oh but it was fine it was fine and then these boats come out of nowhere and well not out of nowhere there's like an underground lake basically and these boats come out and they're playing live classical music like there's a woman with like a violin and they have these like glowing lights all around the boat and they're just floating along the, the underground lake and i've never seen anything like it like it was just an out of this world experience it was like being on mars but with like classical music and boats and like <laughs> there is no words i can show you as the boats were coming around the corner and then he told me to stop filming but yeah it was incredible and even like describing it now, like I feel like I sound a bit weird, but it's crazy, it's so good. And all of the stalactites are like reflecting in the lake and the water's really, really clear. And then you've got the boats just coming out with these lights and classical music playing, live classical music. Like it was like they just wheeled them out of the cave on a boat, like, <laughs> but it was so, so good. Um, I did manage to get a few shots of the boats, like, when they'd stopped um but yeah totally recommend even if you're not into classical music like i never really listened to classical music and it was just incredible like it was just such a crazy experience that yeah you just have to do it it was insane now like i've just come out of the caves and there is a nice little cafe so i've ordered myself some pizza i've got my buzzer um and also for being a brave adult to get the bus back and we are just arriving back in Palmer now and thank god I got back on before it got too dark <laughs> Yeah, yesterday basically it was a bit of a weird one. Unfortunately, the weather cancelled the essential oils workshop, so instead we got taken out to a really nice tapas lunch and 
we did a bit of walking around the town and then we had a really nice champagne uh, group kind of drinks event in the evening. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear this morning, but I've had a nice slow morning. Um, I'm about to go and find some breakfast. And then I have the photo walk later with Michael Thomas, who's London Viewpoints. Um, check out his stuff because it's insane. Um, and yeah, we'll be going on like a content creation walk later this afternoon. And then in the evening, we've got a really nice garden dinner. So yeah, let's go. So I found this place, I'm gonna have a look. So I've come in here, I've ordered a tropical smoothie and like a, a fruit bowl. So I'm gonna see what that's like, but yeah, this is a smoothie. Look how good this looks. So I've come down here close to the port, um, just in time for our photo walk, but the sun is finally out in Parma and it is so beautiful. this rooftop and it is ridiculous the view is so so nice I'll show you good morning guys so I would be on camera right now but um, I'm not gonna lie I'm quite hungover <laughs> but this is the last time you're going to see this currently quite messy room. Um, I am moving today to another hotel. I've packed up all my stuff. Um, I'm going to fill you in a lot more on what we've been doing over the last few days as well. We had the conference yesterday and the day before um, and that was really, really good. But yes, we are on our way to the next hotel. This is the second hotel. It's a B Live Hotels, but it's right on the beach, which is really nice, which you can actually see. Just see that. proper day or actually well first proper day of the last two days um, and I'm going out for brunch with some of the girls that are still here in Parma um, and then I think we're gonna walk up to a castle so yeah, let's go
obviously for the last about 10 days I've been in Palma and judging by my voice you can probably tell it's been quite hectic um, I have made so many new friends all in the travel blogging community and I just never thought it would be this easy and amazing to connect with people just just so quickly we have been quite unfortunate with the weather I'm not gonna lie to you and the locals that we've spoken to have said to us we literally haven't seen it like this for over 25 years so we did get super unlucky in the first few days to be honest though it did give us a bit of a challenge to say like okay what can we try and find to do in Palma in the rain um, and I did manage to find a few cool things that was really cool shopping centers um, one thing that I did which totally recommend perfect to do in bad weather is the caves I'll put it below <laughs> super super cheap easy to get to from Palma as well the main bus station um, something great that you can do in terrible weather because you're going in a cave so it doesn't matter <laughs> but despite the rain like I said we did manage to find loads and loads of different things that we could do and also it gave us a chance to sort of hang out in cafes, go to some of the nice tapas restaurants and also get to know the people that I've been here with um, for this trip. But after a year of, or a year and two years of being so isolated, it's been so nice to just chat to so many different people and it really is so many different people. It's, I think there was over 150 people here, um, all passionate about the same things, all wanting to learn, all wanting to experience Mallorca and yeah, it's just been absolutely incredible. I can't recommend it anymore. Um, let me know if you're interested in being a blogger, coming to any Traverse events. I can recommend loads of different things. And so yeah, it's it, it was insane. <laughs> also, eventually the sun did come out. I've spent the last few days trying to explore a bit more outside, but when the sun comes out, it's just, it changes everything. The beaches are incredible. Some of the sunsets are just, like mind-blowing um, and there's so much to do there is so many places to explore in Mallorca Palma is great you've got the old town you can wander around there's so many tapas places and cafes um, but obviously you know when the Sun comes out it opens up much more of the island unfortunately this time I haven't had much of a chance to explore further afield mainly because I haven't rented a car um, there are a lot of public transport options, like there's a train and buses you can take from the central station uh, reasonably easily, reasonably cheaply as well, um, but obviously I've just been so hectic with uh, all of the sessions and traverse just in general, but yeah I do recommend there's loads of beautiful caves and lighthouses and places to explore all around the island as well. I mean to be fair, it's a great time to visit off season, obviously it's more responsible just in general, but um, it's so nice having less people around as well, so the beaches are really quiet, it's easier to get into cafes and restaurants and it's not too overwhelming after a year of obviously isolating, two years of isolating. Today is um, my last day in Mallorca, I leave tomorrow, <laughs> I mean, I am shattered, it has been a long, long week of it, um, today I went down to the buffet and like, okay, it was like 12 euros. I mean, I always learnt from my dad to make the most of a buffet. So <laughs> I literally grabbed as much as I could. A bowl of cakes. <laughs> I don't know if I was allowed to take them, but I got donut, I got cookies. So now I thought, well, I'll just chill up here for a bit. I want to take it easy today. But yeah, I've just actually also been downstairs and booked a cheeky massage. I mean, anyway, to summarise, I think coming on this trip as like a solo female traveller initially, um, you know, I came not really knowing anyone overly well and I was just welcomed into the community with open arms. You join like the Traverse community and it's literally like a second family and I can't big it up enough, so. <laughs> but yeah, it's been amazing in Mallorca. I definitely recommend checking the weather before you come. Um, but don't let rain put you off because there's still plenty of things you can do here. It means it's a lot quieter. The sun does still come out and it's absolutely beautiful. Drop me any comments you have or questions uh, down below. My DMs are always open on Instagram as well. So yeah, totally up for conversation and uh, I will see you in the next one. So I thought that was going to be the last part of the vlog. It's not. Have a look at this. We're going on a very quick adventure. Let's go, let's go.
go, let's go. Such a beautiful way to end the trip. Check this out.